For some time now, some Western media and politicians have been hiking up the overcapacity narrative. Last time, it was about Japan bashing four decades ago, but this time targeted as China's exports of new electric vehicles. The overcapacity theory, introduced by Western economist Adam Smith in 1776, but trumped up by some Western countries, has now become a fallacy. Hopefully, politicians in some Western countries will understand that protectionism is now the right way out and cannot address the so-called overcapacity problem. Actually, this reminds me of an article titled Too Much of a Good Thing, back in 1999 by Gary Emmons, the Harvard Business School editor. Overcapacity in itself isn't necessarily bad. With excess supply, prices go down. That's good for those industries benefiting from low-priced materials or commodities. If you can enjoy quality and inexpensive NEVs, can you refuse the good value for money from China? Rather than trying to develop their own competitive industries, some Western countries prefer to manufacture an illusion of overcapacity. While China has upgraded its industrial structure to a new level, why are they still entangled with the meticulously structured ploy of an old chestnut?